The sound of your voice Girl will leave me up when I'm down So I make a choice Girl to love you never let you down The sound of your voice Girl will leave me up when I'm down So I make the choice Girl to love you never let you drown yeah. Inspiration yang yote imetoka kwa kwa Rastafari, kwa reggae, kwa dread, kwa Mau Mau. Mau Mau. Yeah, so easy look peke yake. Ini this is who I am. This is who you this are. Am, yeah. This is who you are. Yeah. You know we come from far. <laughs> we come from so far, you know, we come from so far because yeah. I remember I knew you when I was a very little girl, you know. In primary school. In primary school. Yes. In Yo. Primary school. <laughs> and I remember like you 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 Back in the day, I didn't know even you were doing music, and I was like, you know, and I had this silly crush on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that, 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 was, that, that was a problem <laughs> for you. Yeah, but you know, you, you've come such a long way, you know, Jalirik, because me, I knew you as Joe. And, um, man, tell us about your journey, man. You know, because I know about you being one of the founders of gravity music yes, yes. and 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 you've you, you've you've developed they could build a legacy in this industry especially when it comes to reggae and, and that's a very good thing you know just tell us about your journey honey tell us um thanks 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 for having me Kwanza. Oh. A lot. yeah oh my god now. i'm blushing <laughs> camera man stay away from my face <laughs> she's blushing um my, mm -hmm. my, my journey with music yeah. um, actually began in high school. In high school? In high school. I did uh, some writing in the Valley, uh, Days of Kalamashaka. Uh -huh. You see? Um, days of working in Hardstone. Uh -huh. Days of working um, Jamriambo, Kotbirogo. Oh, yeah, those guys. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so, remember. Um, they, they, they inspired me. And then um, I used to listen to a lot of reggae. Um, I used to listen to a lot of Peter Tosh. Mm -hmm. um, and and there is something about music that 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 brings about. I think it's the right word is expressionism. Okay. Yeah. So these guys walikuwa na sema ile kitu wanataka kusema na wanaisema vile wanafaa kusema. Like mtu wala isema una feel. Yeah. Then I was introduced to hip hop. Okay. And wait, 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 wait. Hip hop. Hip hop. You hip hop artist. Yes, hip hop. Whoa. No. <laughs> really? Yeah. I listen okay. to some Tupac. Oh wow, that's okay. And, that's and, good. And that, that's good. That, that was a serious lyricist. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. And to this day, I don't think there's a greater album. Yeah. Then I went back to my roots, and um, I, I did a bit of gospel music. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That that is like. Okay. Wow. Most of us have grown up in a religion. Yes. Whether it's yes, Islam yes, or Christian. Yes, so yes. I grew up in Christianity. Uh huh. From that, I did. Uh, I did. I did some gospel music. Um. Uh, we formed a band called the Band Hatter Soul. Yeah. Uh, with some of the guys, Shadi, Matayo, Wanatijua, mm -hmm. um, Chao. Mm -hmm. Then I, I then I left. I left that and 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 went back to college. Yeah. I'm an accountant. Oh yes, yes my profession. My oh. Profession. So um, I did some accounting. Yeah. And then I came back to music. Yeah. That's when we we formed Gravity. Gravity used to exist. Um, as a backup band, as a backup band, artists, yeah. For other artists, so um, we, we we brought gravity to be uh, we, we we brought gravity to gravity reggae. Mm -hmm. So I was the first lead singer, mm -hmm. um, a founder of gravity, of gravity reggae. Mm -hmm. um, I was a songwriter, mm -hmm. and I did a bit of production. In at that time, eh? mm -hmm. just a little bit. Um, then after I left gravity, I became Jalirik. Jalirik. Yeah. I think that means, um, you know, like, what to say, ma? My life, my shayango existence, yango me andi kuwana mungu. Yes. I'm a creator wangu. Oh. But as an artist, as an artist, um, I look at words as lyrics. Yes. Unelewa? So, yes. So to me, my life, everything I am, who I am, is lyrics by the most high. Oh, ja, ja. lyrics. 
and um, essentially um nikisema hivyo unasema pia we ni jalili yeah kwa sababu pia yako ni the same yeah ya mwingine ni the same so sisi wote ni jalili um uh, I, and then um i i worked as jalili um for three years three years three years wow yeah. I did I did some releases and then um I got to a point where I founded a studio. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. That's you. good. Yeah. So I'm doing my own music. Um everything I want music mean to Kafanya. Mm. And I'm also natural talent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's that's where I am. That's where you are. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about your passion in reggae. Now, you know, in Kenyan in the, in the Kenyan industry not many people have a passion for reggae because a lot of people what they do is they focus on afro pop, they focus on genge, kapuka, whatever back in the day, yeah. So, what motivated you and what pushed you to the point that you're like, let me take a challenge with reggae because already they're already big, you know, the Kenyan industry in Atambua reggae musicians, yes. they say, you know, like from Jamaica and stuff, guys listen to reggae, but what made you take that path and say, you know what, people can actually listen to Kenyan made reggae music? Um, reggae made me who I am. Okay. I've listened to reggae since I was a little boy. Okay. Since primary school. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, no one, no other sound communicated the things I wanted to hear, the things that made me me, more than reggae. Yeah. That's one. Second, um, Kenya is. Um, Kenya is one of the biggest consumers of reggae music in the world. Yeah. And we don't have a supplier for reggae music. Yeah. Yeah. So since since nilikuwa, I felt nilikuwa poor na reggae. Mm -hmm. I, 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 yo, yo tundio, yeah. Like like it was it was, pre it was predestined. Yeah. Yeah. But um it, it all it all goes back to how I can express myself through reggae. Yeah. And what reggae does to me. And what, what reggae does to people? What does reggae do to you? <laughs> no, you can tell us. You know, I wanna do, I wanna do like, I, I wanna do like, I wanna know what does reggae do to you? Um, is the right way? It makes me coil inside. Coil inside, like naskia garigim bakana. What are you saying? Kido. Kaleka feeling. Baka una kaleka feeling baka. Yeah, yeah. 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 Release last year. Big up this wrong car. Seven. Officer Mimi Sina. 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 Officer Mimi Sina. Maisha ndiyo inaleta ngori Nilisho mama watoto wa siwori Kiroma leo haitakuwa ngori Hafisa mimi sina ngori Maisha ndiyo inaleta ngori Nilisho mama watoto wa siwori Kiroma leo haitakuwa ngori Nafakulisha familia Lakini situation inakatisia Nafaku visha fame hiya Lakini cheki cheki hali ya dunia Nyumbani watu wanaumia Hea enataka kuwa kukulikia Hea Ofesa mimi sina ngori Maisha ndiyo inaleta ngori Nilisho mama watoto wa siwori Keroma leo haitakuwa ngori Um, I, I, that song was written during Italy Corona. Um, everyone is struggling. 
Mm -hmm. uh, everybody is struggling, um, revenue, mm. especially the entertainment industry. Yeah, so, yeah. Because here too, you can see. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, this is easy. Probably, kuna sababu a um You saw me to talk about the fact that kuna most of us are trying to provide for our families. Yeah. So many friends of mine who are artists who may relocate back to Ushago. New Kweli. Kwa sababu ya kukosa revenue. Yeah. Kwa so yeah. essentially wametoka ile place industry ilikuwa ina work for them. Yeah. Kwa place ingine. Yeah. Kwa sababu ya nini? Do. So for me ilikuwa ina maanisha like ka, officer sina sina baya. Yeah. Na hustle family yako. Yeah. Na hustle ni kule. Everyone is talking that language. Mm. Because actually, when we talk about this, we said yesterday I went to meet a friend of mine, mm. and uh, we had a meeting. He mm. uh, about some digital marketing. Mm. Yeah. Then, um, around 10 p.m., we yeah. got to my head to how. Yeah. Maliko na tuna 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 tumeenda kuku kurelax sasa. Um, makarao walto ambio mbaya. Na ni doo tuna tafuta. Atu na mbisi si wali ku. Masema ni aunyo zili tembea. Manya unyo zili tembea. Wa, what are you yesterday? Janu si. Eh, manze. People still do that. Yes. Manya unyo. Yo. Hey, what are you doing? Yo. Na si yoka wali tu waero. Si do something like that. Yeah. Yakuna noma. Yakuna noma manze. You only like. You only like Kenya kuevo. So now, um, explain to us now about you being part of this uh, gravity reggae because gravity gravity reggae band right now is one of the greatest bands in uh, Kenya because I see they back up the major shows from uh, reggae artists from um, from Jamaica they also do backup for um, Wire you know one of the biggest reggae artists yeah, in yeah. Kenya so how did you get into gravity and why did you leave now I told you I did a I told you I did a gospel. Yes. Gospel, there was a, a gospel period. Yes. We call it gospel period. Eh? Um, um, we worked with a guy called Matthew. Yes. A guy called Shadi. Yes. A guy called um, Chao. Yes. A guy called Juji. So mm -hmm. gravity was later on formed by those guys mm -hmm. as a backup band. Okay. And then we got they got to a point and I also got to a point where we felt we needed to. To do something together, mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. so um, um, Joji was not there, but um, the, uh, Charles, um, Shadi, and Matthew were there. Mm -hmm. uh, so essentially, nili become to to recreate like to Okay. Mm -hmm. Una, uh, so um, gravity to can do like we did an album. Yeah. The force of gravity. Oh, the force of gravity. That never was never released. Oh, what a shame! So, yeah. um, of that album, there were some singles. Mm -hmm. Um, we some reggae. Mm -hmm. Africa. Yeah. That is only a one. Yeah. And yeah, so it's only it's it's only projects in a Jamaica. Na sana za gravity. Yeah. When when I was when I was um lead singer songwriting gravity. Yeah. yeah. So so why did you leave gravity reggae? To be specific, briefly, why did you leave? Creative differences. Creative differences. Yeah. Explain to us what exactly <laughs> what ex <laughs> is a creative difference in Ghana. <laughs> you you meant to me what political? Political. <laughs> 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 yeah. Politically correct. Eh? Yeah. Um, um, okay, it was just equal creative difference because we look on the aspect here, be a shara. Be a shara. So um, I left gravity because I wanted to talk about some things they were not willing to talk about. Like. I'm a radical guy. You're a radical person. As I told you in the beginning of this, there's some of Mao in me, inspiration. So... Power to the people, th something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, I also call it. Um, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. um, there, was, there was the fact that I wanted to talk to, about Rastafari because as much as I'm not like... Um, I wouldn't say I'm Rastafari. Yeah. Okay? I'm a dread there. But Rastafari has inspired me. To me, Haile Selassie is like a guiding light. A guiding light on the path to us, on the path I am on on my journey. Yeah. So I wanted to include Rastafari in my music as a form of appreciation for what I believe Rastafari has done for me. Okay. Um. Some some guys in gravity are Christians. Yeah. So that was um. A them, conflict of interest. Yeah. 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 And then um, I, I wanted to be radical politically. Uh huh. And um, it will kulikwana kulikwana. Mali, kuna mali, 
kuna extent hawataki kwenda unashika mm. and then um there was the aspect of um you know you can commercialize music yes you can no mm. matter how hardcore you are you can commercialize music yes, right yes but there is a commercialization you can, you're not comfortable you, you kuna commercialize commercialization is afrika mali uko uncomfortable na yeah unaelewa so um kuna side ya commercialization walikuwa wanaenda miss kuwa mm. interested kuenda mm. unaelewa um there's a song they release called sweetie hmm? sweetie i'm not familiar with it yeah, it's, it's a dance song yeah. so i was supposed to do that remix but um that was the last project i was supposed to do never did and never went back yeah so there there's there, there are several issues the business side of things i think if i get into that kuna vile it akiet yeah let, let's not start up drama let's not start up drama yeah that's good that's good so now tell us now that you are an individual artist by yourself have you started a new band or are you just working by yourself right now right. and also let's talk about your studio now yeah you, I, you told me that you have your own studio yeah. that you're mentoring artists which i think is a very inspirational thing mr mm. you don't have the dread to be rasta but Yo. you do me not to tell that what did you mean you left out here Yo, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 so let's talk about you as a as a solo act and let's talk about your studio and your mentoring program. Yeah. Um um initially I okay, I set up a studio last year. Yes. Um and the idea of the studio was um ikuwe yangu personal. Yeah. Kwa sababu ndiko ni mwaka na producers wengi hawataki ku experiment na muziki. Okay. Na producers wengi hawa understand reggae. Nikisema nini? Reggae. Reggae as a, as a, as a reggae as a vibe not just as a not just as music as a vibe yeah unaelewa as yeah. Are, whatever reggae is to everyone eh uh, kuna hawako na leo wana nasema nini so yes. you need, need, need space na za experiment on everything i can experiment on to create a sound mm. no, so that, that, that's how i ended up ended up setting up a studio but um before you get to the studio about your lyric yeah um as a solo artist i've worked with um a company called head, head, called Head Cornerstone Entertainment. Okay. Um they are responsible for Jamhuri Reggae Festival. Okay. The first one brought a uh, couple tone and Queen Africa. Oh wow, the second, impressive. The second this and then there was a show called uh, Street Fusion. Mhm. Mm it brought Junior Gomale. Yeah. Kani. Yeah. That, I think that was 2017 if I'm not wrong. March. Oh wow. April, yeah. Then um we did uh we did um Freddy McGregor, Mighty Culture. Mm -hmm. And then we were supposed to do some other ones mm -hmm. as of last year, but Corona. Rona, 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 yeah. Rona, so, why? <laughs> my, so, um, yeah. um, I worked with them and then we created some. We took a thing called Sikikada. There was a song called Chata Sam, Weapon, Take You Away was the last song. Mm -hmm. And so on and so forth, Ghetto Youths. Um, uh, I love to talk about nika nikaanza kuwa kuna studios tofauti. Yeah. Na kwa wakati kuwa kuna studios tofauti ni realize. Now I, actually what I did was at least what I got point there where I kona and I feel ana need to do kitu na life yake na na msiki yake. Ukaweza kuwa na studio yako. Utakuwa na time na resources za kudu ile kitu una need kudu itoke vile wewe unataka itoke. Ju watu wengi wata avoid elements mob sana ambazo um wewe unataka zikuwe kwa sababu wako afraid ku experiment na kitu kai hiyo I, i think it makes sense yeah. so that's how i ended up setting up a studio yeah unaelewa yeah. yeah um in terms of um mentoring um genge tu nilikuja ka take over industry ya Kenya yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> shock ku take over industry ya Kenya oh, seriously mimi ni one of the people na appreciate genge tu like seriously Yo. for this one reason Yo. i'm an artist who's been in this industry from way before 2010 but yeah. somehow somehow in the clubs of Kenya music in Kenya is good bongo yeah no before genge tone oh, bongo, bongo nigeria Beats, nigeria yeah. nigeria yeah. genge tone ilika mika toa wa sio ika ika skuma wa wote ika, ika create avenue ya kenyan listeners ama the kenyan mm -hmm. audience kusikiza kenyan content mm. like wakati kusema wa Kenya wajengi mziki mm. wa Kenya hawana sound mm. wa Kenya hawana vibe wa Kenya hawana yeah. story artist like hakuna content kwa mziki yeah. unashika as much as most people may disagree with the content in Gengeton mm -hmm. i'd like to say this eh mm -hmm. um Gengeton 
can mutate or evolve to becoming something else. Mm. So, so nili set up studio vijana kama au ni mwaka na vijana mm. kadha na so far tuna produce videos kadha. Yeah. Eh zina releaseiwa sometime from August. Yeah. Alafu pia mimi individually kuna vile pia nafanya muziki yeah. yangu. So is reggae music selling in Kenya? Yes. From Kenyan yes. reggae artists. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It is. I've lived I've lived off reggae music since 2016. Yeah. And 2016 I, 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 we began gravity in 2015 October. Yeah. So gravity reggae that is. And I've lived off music from 2015 to 28 to 2019. Mm. Then I went back to my to my accounting profession. Yeah. Uh, because I needed funds to set up my studio. Yeah. Mashika. So um and during that period where I was an accountant I also did, I was working at Jay's Fresh Buy and Kitchen. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That I was place. a chief accountant there. Then, um, during that period, I also started a reggae event yeah. in Jay's that was happening every Friday. Like a reggae. Mm. A different reggae act. Every Friday. We did that for three months. Corona hit. Okay. So, reggae is, reggae is selling. Um, nesema, lakini, um, Unfortunately, kuna, 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 unfortunately, kuna, kuna aspect ya monetize music. Yes. You have to, you have to have the information yeah. to do the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, yeah, true, yeah. true. So, what do you, what is your perspective? Um, uh, what exactly is the future of reggae music in Kenya, according to your opinion? You know, as a, as a legendary reggae musician in this country who is well respected and who is well known and who knows exactly the direction they're trying to take to, and you have stuck to this genre for all these years. What is the future for reggae music in Kenya? Um, reggae music in Kenya must evolve. Must evolve. Must evolve. So you think evolution is necessary? It's necessary yeah. because um, we need to offer something that um, Jamaican artists or foreign artists, being a Kenyan, are not offering. Mm -hmm. right? um, the reason Lucky Dube hit was because he had a, he had a different vibe in his reggae. Yeah. He stood out. Yeah. The reason um, um, Alpha Blonde hit, yeah. same. The reason Gentleman from Germany hit, same. Yeah. So we have to get an element in our in our reggae music that that only we can offer. Yeah. So reggae has to evolve. Yeah. Now Kenya is a dance world, is a dance world country. Yeah. Believe it, Kenya is a dance world country. Like yeah. um a friend of mine from Jamaica called Sniper. Sniper. Sniper told okay. me this, yeah. When he came to Kenya, he told me that um Jamaica was on at the reggae Monday to Monday. Yeah. In a Kwagani dancer. 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 Right? Dancer yeah. music. Boom. <laughs> and come Kenya, I can put a kuna vibe ya, kuna vibe ya reggae, Monday to Monday. But he's 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 interesting thing, eh? He's interesting thing. Um, to ki and reggae, mm. kuna watu kuna watu wanaito MCs. Mm. Sio leo. Mm. Au hype crowd. MCs wa hype crowd. Yeah. Sio leo. Iyo culture Jamaica ni culture dancer. Sio leo. Yeah. Una shika. Kenya in a fire embrace the fact that the, our music should not should be mm. is 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 more dance me is more appreciated when it's when it's dance music. Mm. So yeah, that's yeah. why Gengetone is hitting. Yeah. That is why Bongo in a hit. Yeah. That is why uh, Afro uh, Niger in a hit. Yeah. That is why Koito in a hit. Yeah. 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 It's we, we want dance music, but now we can do dance music with rich lyrics. Yeah. Nashika. Yeah. Uh, so for me, my opinion is this. Reggae music must evolve, and the Kenyan reggae artists must kubali. That should happen. Okay. Now watching happen. Yeah. So, who is your favorite uh, reggae artist, and why? Briefly. Peter Tosh. Ah, so why? Why? Kwanza, Peter Tosh wrote, wrote most of the songs that Bob Marley and the Wailers. Okay. So, yeah. Peter Tosh could not write. Mm-hmm. Angi Andika, he was illiterate. Yeah. So Hangi Adika. Lakini he wrote most of the songs. Yeah. And those songs are rich. Like you listen to Peter Tosh. Yeah. And uh, change while they are. Yeah. Like you know, lyrically. Yeah. Concepts that you know, when you look at a song that you find your sixties. Yeah. Yeah. Seventies. They in a sound. They gonna content ili kona. They gonna ele vibe kona. No. He had he had like a dance feeling. He had like a dance feeling that is both. Uh, he had like a dance feeling. But he also had um, rich lyrics in his music. Mm. Alafu kudazile mziki, unajasikia hardcore. Yeah. Hard. 
Yeah. Lakini mzee unasikia unasikia mzee mpaka unaimba mpaka mkono. Yo, that's Yo. what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Man, kindly uh, uh, give them your social media handles how they can reach you at Jaliric and if guys want to come for mentorship or come to your studio just maybe come for guidance uh, as you look at the camera and um, your last uh, words to artists who are coming and wanna be you know like reggae artists like you. Social media handles. Yes. Jaliric on Facebook, Jaliric on YouTube, Jaliric on Instagram. Mm. Jaliric music mm. on um, Twitter. On Twitter. Twitter. Any last words for our upcoming or uprising reggae stars who are currently in Kenya right now or all over the world? Yeah. Um. What wanna penda reggae? Upenda reggae. Yeah. Na kuna vile wana tend to go back to traditional reggae na traditional reggae tiki. Yeah. Um. Naza ambia artists wanna come up wa embrace, wa embrace modern reggae. Yeah. Like reggae asai. Yeah. Si same usifanye traditional. Fanya album ya mziki 12, ine zinaweza kuwa traditional na ine zikuwe ingine. Mm. Unajua juu, as much as you're a reggae artist, you're competing for market share with every other artist. Yeah. Irrespective of ile mziki ya naimba. Yeah. 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 Yo guys man, you know, today I've actually felt, uh, I've learned a lot and I've actually felt so honored to have you in my show. One of my oldest friends, man. Guys, this is just a blessing. <laughs> this is just a blessing. Such a huge blessing, guys. Like I said, man, always, if you want to be in this show or whatever it is that you want to talk about, and if you want to get to know more about Lioness, so make sure you go to Sironka Lioness in all the social media handles. Man, as I'm winding up, we're going to have Jan Lyric drop one more reggae joy for us, mother. We are so psyched. We are so happy. Dude, thank you so much. God bless you. Give me a hand, honey. Thank you so much. Uh, Prison, the youth, them killing the youth, let me tell you the truth, yeah. Extra judicial kill is now permanent solution for all the crime, yeah. The youth are the future, so killing them off, come and tell them we now have no future now. We need for solutions, these situations, how many people living in fear? To the so-called ruling class, yeah, corruption is the source of all evil. It's immoral, it's sick, as we are a poor nation. Suicidal, we got people getting angry, and getting angry, and things are like a simple. Your policy is creating a man in society that's about survival.